These are the most underrated classes that perform much better than players think. I am going to show you a list of 5 different good classes that nobody uses anymore and we are starting right now. First one on the list we've got the Royal Battle Mage. This class is a really good one and it deals devastating amount of damage. The reason why most people avoid it is that you need to be able to control the mana. As the damage gets higher the lower your mana is. This said, you will have to keep your mana low before using your nuke during farming and sowing. Talking about farming, this class has an AoE that can one shot. His skills have a short cooldown which makes it a good farming class. For soloing, the things are pretty much the same. You also have a shield ability which also heals you when it expires. Overall, this class is better used for farming. His mechanics assure you a fun time when you are playing this class. You can get it when you reach rank 10 in Sword Heaven. Next we've got one of the oldest and most iconic classes in the game, the Necromancer. Back in the days everyone used to play this class. You would click on players to see Necromancer rank 10. The interesting about the Necromancer was the fact that it had a free battle pet. In the old days battle pets were only available to members which made them super cool. With the new classes that came out Necromancer lost his authority. Even out of the meta he is a good solar and can take out many of the bosses in the game. Keep in mind that to reach the full potential you must get to rank 10 so you can reduce the damage you take from the DOT and the infection. By the way if you are enjoying this video so far and if you are an AQW player make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any future videos that can help you out. The next class is free to get and is probably the most underrated support class in the game, the Oracle. Oracle is one of the supports that can apply many different stat effects that give you a huge advantage in battle. These include increasing strength and intellect, applying a strong or moderate HOT and reduces damage taken. In rare cases it also applies small debuffs which are increasing mana costs and reducing endurance. It can also increase your friends dodge and critical chance. As with most support classes Oracle also has a very good healing. The best debuff that this class can apply on enemies is that it can reduce the enemy attack or magic power by 80%. The rank 10 passive of this skill can heal all players to max HP and make them invincible. Often Oracle is overlooked as a very inefficient class because of other support classes that are already in the game. Keep in mind that you can get Oracle for free while other classes like Stonecrusher, Arch Paladin and Archfiend require farming. The Shadow Skit General. This class is one of the most unique classes in the game because it is completely different from the usual farming class. The reason for that is because the Shadow Skit General has an AoE up to 6 targets which lets you kill all of the monsters in Ice Storm Arena at once. All of his skills hit up to 6 targets and all of them have different effects and debuffs. Something that not many classes have is that the general can prevent the enemy from applying status effects which are used by light based classes. For example the enemy can have illuminated which is the buff of the light caster or righteous seal the 90% damage debuff of the arch paladin. As you may have noticed by the way how the skills look and the name itself suggesting it, the Shadow Skid General is an evil class and is used by the leaders of Shadow Skid. One might say that it was also Sepulchre's class because the rank 10 passive is named Sepulchre's Blessing. It might take some time to master this class because all skills benefit from each other and the appliance of debuffs and buffs take some time. If you want to get this you must join Shadowfall and complete a daily quest. Last but not least the Master Ranger. After the boss that Master Ranger received last year the class is now a good option for farming. All of his skills have AoE but they hit only up to 2 targets. However the low cooldowns compensate for this and all of the players who own it to have a secondary farming class for when they are bored or want to try something different. 
The fun thing about the class is that it synergizes with a bow weapon, making you look like you fire arrows from it, instead of using the bow to smash your enemies, which makes no sense at all. In terms of playstyle, the Master Ranger is close to Archwind, because both of them have AoE up to 2 targets and use stacks for their nuke. If you are going to use it for soloing, you should know that there is no reliable sustainability this class has, other than the HLT on the Vampiric Shot. To get this class, you need to have your reputation in Sensei at rank 10. Now I've got an important question for you. Which are the most underrated classes in your opinion and do you use any of them? Type down in the comments below and I will reply to you. This video right here is going to teach you the strengths and weaknesses of Archfiend and Arch Paladin and show you which one is better. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.